Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I am doing a message from Spirit. So uh, I do these once in a blue moon, and I only really do them when I feel like Spirit wants to get something out to the people on the interwebs. <laughs> so as you guys know, I am a medium. Yes, I see dead people. I talk to dead people um, and energies and animals and all sorts of wonderful things. And um, for me, I, I, I don't see this as like any sort of special like gift. You know, this is something that I believe everybody has um, the ability to do. I believe everybody has psychic ability because it's just a part of being a human being. It's just as natural as breathing. Um, you know, I've mentioned before in like my psychic ability series as I, I try to help people kind of open up their natural abilities um, that, you know, animals have them, plants have them. It's, it's their way of sensing the world. And sometimes the world goes beyond what we can see with our own two peepers. So uh, our, you know, our, um, our souls, I guess you could say, or the uh, electrical impulses in our body, you know, kind of, we, we reach out beyond our uh, epidermis and epidermi <laughs> and kind of sense the world around us. And so for me, you know, I just happen to be uh, really good at communication with spirit. And I think that to some degree, you know, anybody can, can, can do that, you know, and I think everybody does it in different ways as well, because we're all different people with different backgrounds. So why wouldn't we have uh, different strengths, different talents, um, you know, because it'd be kind of boring if we all were really good at the same thing, because then I guess nobody would be great at it. It would just... <laughs> Um, but anyway, I just had this feeling that uh, spirit wanted to come through. Uh, I do actual one-on-one -on -one, uh, mediumship readings. You know, you could check out my shop, Kittens, Weights, and Tarot. Um, and I just, you know, when I feel like it's um, a reading more for the masses, that's when I make a video. And I'm hoping that anybody either watching it now or watching it in the future, even if it's like two or three years from now, um, is like, oh, okay, that's for me. Um, but also as a reminder, when spirit comes through and um, for whomever has passed, whether it was animal or human or whatever, um, I do believe that because it takes a tremendous amount of energy to be on um, communicating on this plane through the medium, the device, which is me, uh, I'm just kind of a translator, you know, that's why I say I'm, I don't consider myself super special. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just listening to somebody and I'm just translating what they say. <laughs> As they come through, I say they because I do believe that spirit comes through as multiple energies because if you're coming onto this plane, it might take a tremendous amount of energy. So you want help from your homies. Um, so I do believe, you know, it may not just be one spirit, but it might be five, maybe 10 spirits, maybe more, who knows. Um, but they're all coming through with messages and so maybe the message you know um, for the most part hits home with one person but then it also hits home for a lot of other people uh, because of all the different things that were in there so it's not just one message for one person because if it takes all that and, and this is just like my personal opinion if it were me on the other side and it took me that much energy to come through um, you know, I probably would want my friends to come with me so that they could also get messages out to the people who need to hear it most, you know, so it's not just like a selfish endeavor where I'm just, hey, I'm just talking to you, one person, you know, it seems like, you know, like a waste of energy <laughs> that you would want to help as many people as possible. And there isn't anything ever scary uh, that comes through, you know, any anything that's coming through from the light is never giving messages of, of fear or or this is ooh coming or this is meant to be scary that those are not the en uh, energies that I ever invite and I don't listen to them uh, I hear them but I don't give them the time of day and they usually go away so um, the messages here are for your best and highest good they're always for healing, for, for helping people to get through things. And sometimes it's just what people need to hear. Sometimes it's just a little thing and it's just what they need to hear so that they can continue on their healing journey. And that's why I do this. So anyway, the two decks that I'm gonna be using are the Memento Mori uh, Oracle. It's a Lenormand and Oracle deck. And then I'm also gonna be using um, my Mildred Payne's Secret Pocket Oracle. Um, I have a few different decks that I use for spirit, but these are these are a couple of my, my main ones. Okay, so I've already done a little like sit down. 
uh, just kind of like inviting in the energies because I believe it's more than one person coming through with a message. So like I said, if part of it resonates with you, great, take that one part um, and use it for your healing process, you know, but I'm, I'm thinking this for multiple people because that's how they get down. Okay, so I need a card that represents the energy coming through the strongest. Okay, <laughs> the card coming through the strongest, we have Memento Mori, which is the namesake of the deck, <laughs> um, which I believe is, uh, you know, that basically one day we all, we all die. So, um, wow, this is like a big energy and it's not um, kind of a scary thing like the, the, you know, one day we all must die, you know, that it's, it's the hey, this is just something natural. Just like you see a flower bloom, it fades, it falls off. You know, eventually there's gonna be another, you know, a uh, bud that rises, another flower that blooms. Like it's just a, a cycle. Like it's just something that happens. Um, and it's not like, a, how do I wanna put it? Uh, you know, because we, death for us is a big thing. But um, what I'm getting from the, I believe it's multiple people coming through. It's like, hey, it's 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 a thing, yes, and I know it means a lot to the people that are st that are left behind. But for us, it's like a thing that just happens. It's a cycle. It has to happen. You know, we can't have birth without death. You know, and and all that. It, it we need that cycle. We need birth. We need death. We need we need all of that um, as we move forward as a human race. So. Um, so I am getting like older people um, coming through. A lot of times I get people's animals. Um, this is older people. I'm not thinking like so old, like, <laughs> excuse me if I'm offending anybody. I'm not feeling like geriatric old. <laughs> I'm thinking um, parents, somebody's parents, parents age, uh, parents as in, um, you know, like their 50s like 40s and 50s, it's kind of a young person. I mean, I'm going to be 40 next year, so it's like I am technically old enough to be people's mothers, which is scary. <laughs> mothers, mother. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me get some more information. Some more clarification of who you are. I'm going to pull three cards. Okay, so we have the glove, we have the sextant, and we have the mort bell. Okay, um, it's gonna sound a little odd. Um, the person or persons coming through. Um, the main thing that's coming through, and these other people could have had a hand in some sort of uh, charitable service, uh, meaning like nonprofit type stuff uh, as, their, as their occupation. But the main energy that's coming through, um, you know, I, I think all these energies, they have something in common, which is why they're all coming through together. Um, but the main one coming through, you know the bell ringers at Christmas time. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. Um, you know, the Salvation Army people, the bell ringers. I just, I was like, no, that's too, like, really? Bell ringer? It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know if this person did it as a part-time job or this was like their full-time thing is that they worked for the Salvation Army or maybe they just worked during Christmas time. Um, but I just kind of see like bell ringer, uh, but it also could be a metaphor for somebody who just worked in a, a charitable type organization where it, it was all meant for, you know, they, they brought in money, but the money was meant for charity. Um, and it could have been, you know, they worked in an animal shelter or something like that, but somebody for their, 
um, the main thing that they loved, it may not have been their main occupation, but the thing they love to do the most, like for me, the thing I love to do the most is this kind of stuff, <laughs> my woo woo stuff. Um, but for them, the charitable stuff was their favorite thing to do, you know, volunteering, doing bell ringing during Christmas time, you know, trying to raise money for the Salvation Army. It's, you know, so who, whomever they were, uh, that, that was, that was their favorite thing to do. And maybe it was their full-time job. Maybe they wish it was their full-time job. Okay. So, um, just one more thing about you and then I want to ask um, for a message and then I'll pull from my Mildred Payne okay I was gonna take this metaphorically the door but I'm gonna take this literally whomever is watching this either now or in the future whether it's like three years from now or um, three minutes after I post this um, this person who is of charitable service, all of this, uh, that's like their favorite thing to do in your home, you personally, does it seem like you have a, like a ding dong ditch person, you know, when people like ring your doorbell and then you open the door and there's like nobody there. And then you like hear a bunch of kids laughing behind the bushes because they're playing, uh, like doorbell ditch, you know, <laughs> or sometimes we call it ding dong ditch. Um, it's something like that where like your doorbell is ringing or you have one of those ring doorbells um, and it goes off or there's like a knock at the door, but there's nobody there. Um, and a lot of us now we have cameras at our front door. I have a camera at my front door. I have the, the ring doorbell. And a couple of times this has happened to me where it goes off and there's nobody there. And I'm like, why is it going off? But it's going off at like, I don't know, three in the morning, <laughs> same time every, every morning. Um, you know, it's like, is there an animal out there? Um, but yeah, if you've been having some unexplained, like the ring doorbells going off or your actual doorbell going off, or you thought you heard a knock at the door, but there's nobody there. This is confirmation that there was somebody there. It was this person, um, this charitable person, the person that liked to work for those uh, you know, fundraiser organizations, those charity organizations. So that's just confirmation for whoever is watching this, that, um, it wasn't that there was nobody at the door. They were at the door and it was just, um, not meant to scare you in any way that, you know, sometimes we get a little freaked out about these things, but really they don't know what else to do to get our attention. You know, if they don't have a voice box anymore, I'm their voice box right now, but they don't have a voice box. They don't have a body anymore. So how on earth, do you get literally how on earth <laughs> since they're not of the earth anymore how do you get people's attention you do things with your energy like use your energy and knock stuff off the the table or you know uh to mess with the electricity um mess with the ring doorbell you know get something to knock against the door just to say hey you know i'm not like I haven't just evaporated into the ethers. Like I'm still here. I may not physically have a body, but I'm still here and I'm just saying hello. Like that's what this person is trying to say is just, it's, I'm just saying hello. That's what I was, I, I you know, I'm trying to console you. <laughs> um, and I don't want you to you know, be sad. Like I'm knocking, hello, like I'm still here. And if you call out to me, if you think of me, I'm literally still there. I'm there the moment you think of me. Um, I'm there the moment that you say my name in memory of, you know, you're remembering something and you're telling somebody about me. Like I'm there. My energy is there as fast as you can think it. That's what's coming through like really strongly right now. Okay. So, uh, other message, cause obviously your message is kind of already coming through, but, um, other main message, we have the session. Okay, we have the sachet, we have the cross, and we have a rope. Okay, so what I'm getting with this is, um, first with these first two, um, the sachet I'm getting more as a, a lady's handkerchief, but she uses it to put um, smell good, good smelling things, you know, like potpourri or 
uh, she sprays her perfume on it and she doesn't really use it as a as a handkerchief you know like blowing your nose in it or anything um, more kind of keeping it in the drawer um, to keep your laundry smelling good you know so like filling it with potpourri or uh, putting your perfume on it to like keep your clothes like smelling nice uh, so your clothes always kind of like smell like your perfume or potpourri and that this person coming through maybe they did work for the Salvation Army because I'm also getting that they were um, religious as well as in like Christian like believing in Christ you know type person um, and this is also just like a, a little uh, indicator there um, with the rope um, Okay, so this is this is their message. <laughs> um, so first of all, these two things, it's like, okay, just so you know for sure that it's me, charitable person knocking out the door or setting off your ring doorbell or whatever it is uh, that used to keep something nice smelling in the drawer um, or their wife used to do that. Um, but with this rope is to let you know that again, like I was just saying before, even though the person's physical body is gone, uh, even physics says that, you know, energy cannot be destroyed and the body is made of energy. Like we know this, um, your brain, your heart, everything is made of energy. So, you know, we wonder where does that energy go? Um, well, it's, it's out there. Um, and this rope is a reminder that we're always connected, you know, just because you can't physically go visit that person or talk to that person, um, as in a face-to-face -face conversation, you can still talk to them. It might be harder to hear them, um, but that that rope, that connection, that that like um, thread that we're all connected to, in my belief, source energy. And this is what they're saying. It's like I'm still connected to you. It's like it's like you have one end of the rope and I have the other end of the rope. Like I'm never letting go, you know. And I know that you would never let go, like. <laughs> and it's almost like a tug of war of like, I want to, I want to bring you back. I want to bring you back. And it's not that they're tugging back. It's that they're just saying, Hey, like I physically, I can't just like come back because that's what zombies do. But, <laughs> um, you know, that like, like, you know, I was saying before the moment that you talk about me to other people, you know, just a funny memory or just kind of a rolling your eyes moment or whatever, like I'm there. I'm there. I hear every single thing you say about me, good or bad. It doesn't matter because <laughs> I got nothing but love for you anyway. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's just what's coming through majorly. That was the message. I guess I didn't need to use my Mildred Payne secret pocket Oracle because this one was good enough, but so yeah, so it's just, you know, person coming through just a reminder that, you know, one day we all must die. And that's just, that's just how it is. Just like the Lion King circle of life. Um, it's, it's not like it's a unusual event, death, you know, it's something that happens to all of us eventually. Um, but that gives way to birth, you know, and, and a newness, um, and not just with human beings, but with, with everything on this planet, you know? Um, and so again, this person did a lot of charitable work possibly a Salvation Army. This person also very religious, uh, maybe attended church, but also like to use their handkerchief as like a little sachet full of uh, potpourri or their perfume, uh, and then stick it in their drawer to keep their laundry smelling nice, their clothing smelling nice. Um, and if you've been having anything odd at the front door, like ring doorbell going off and there's nobody there <laughs> when you check the cameras or doorbells ringing and you don't hear the laughing children playing ding dong ditch or whatever, um, that's what just that's just the person coming by saying like, hello, <laughs> still here. And I'm still very much connected to you. You got one end of the rope. I got the other. All right. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that message. Please let me know in the comment section down below if that connected to you. Uh, maybe pieces of it did. Like I said, I think multiple people come through and this could be multiple people talking because um, I was getting both male and female energy. And so I don't really want to say male or female. Um, I was getting more male with the, the charitable organization, but I was getting female with the, uh, the Christian woman, um, and her handkerchief. Um, but anyway, so uh, if it's more personal and you don't feel like sharing down in the comment section down below, you can always email me to let me know, uh, Tara at kittensweightsandtarot.com. Like, I absolutely love talking to you guys. That's like why I do this. Like, uh, 
I love connecting with people just in general. Um, so that's why I'm a teacher, you know? <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, yeah. So if you guys dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me or a mediumship reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have readings in my shop, but I have things that I make. I have my room of body sprays. I have my salves. I have my bracelets that I make. I have my Wally's World Oracle which was community created and community funded. Um, I have my travel witch altar pendants. I have my rainbow bridge ones, my ancestral altar pendants. Um, and I also have uh, my newsletter. If you want to sign up, it's a newsletter that hits your inbox at the first of every month. And then I don't email you any other time of the month. So that's just, that's it. Um, but it's got witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, um, channels that I'm watching, uh, crystals that I'm using, herbs that I'm using, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So if that interests you, go ahead and sign up absolutely free. Um, hey, anyone, if you want to send a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot for as little as a dollar a month. It helps out what I do tremendously, which is to connect with you guys and get you guys to connect with each other. I'm just trying to bring everybody together. All right. So that's it for me, spiritual homies. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.